Valley News Live Storm Team has issued a first alert weather day. Well, as we close out our Friday and head into our weekend, we did have a little bit of volatile weather that got a little bit too close for comfort in the Park Rapids area. Here's a video clip from Michaela. Thanks for taking the time to upload your photos and videos today. That funnel cloud getting awfully close to the ground, and that's the one that we were talking about during the warnings. Look at this low cloud scraping the ground. Here's the thunderstorm base way up here, and this lowering cloud is called a wall cloud, and that's oftentimes where funnels come from. And look at this wild and wicked cloud sitting on the ground near Monoma. Diane, thanks for taking the time for sharing that dandy. You don't see those every day either. Here's that system. This is the same system that swirled through Fargo bringing rain really picked up some intensity in the afternoon hours and early evening hours as it spun its way through, causing a few areas of hail, causing some well, scary times there in parts of the Hubbard County and also in Becker County near Snowman as well. Uh, those are just now finally starting to exit towards Bacchus and off towards uh, and south of Leech Lake out there near Walker. And then as we look off to the west, we have two areas of thunderstorms. This was more widespread, seems to be winding down. And anything that's moved into the eastern third of North Dakota or the uh, James River Valley has really diminished in intensity. So as we look off to the east, it's quiet this evening, 74 degrees at Hector. Wind from the south at 8. It was a sticky day here in Fargo. We did warm up quite a bit once our showers of rain moved through and a quick shot of a half of an inch to an inch of rain in and around the FM area from that storm system that is now swirling into central Minnesota. Look at the cool pool of air it is leaving behind it. 66 in Thief River Falls. We have mid 60s as well for you in Bemidji. Well, we did get some reports uh, in the uh, uh, Beltrami County area of some tree damage from those storms tonight. 74 Fargo, 75 Valley City and still near 80 in both Devils Lake and Jamestown. Here's a look at that humidity in the form of dew point temperatures. When it gets up in the 60s and 70s, it's air you can wear. It's sticky out there and that continues as well. Hour by hour forecast as we set things into motion. A couple of question marks. Are we going to see more thunderstorms overnight? And what's going to happen to the ones out to the west? We'll answer those questions. A couple of things to keep in mind. I think we really were fortunate tonight to not see more widespread thunderstorm activity, but there were a lot of unanswered questions with regards to our severe weather with models having a tough time handling it. Fog is definitely going to be a potential problem again to start your day. Those storms out to the west, yeah, the best chance of those will be along the international border during the overnight hours. And will they be severe? It's not likely we're going to have anything widespread, but a rumble of thunder or two possible during the overnight hours. If you hear thunderstorms, check with Valley News Live. If it's severe, we will let you know temperatures to start your day near 70 and as we go through the first half of the day look at all this sunshine out there still going to be humid i am afraid but look at this we've been talking all week about a first alert weather day on saturday and we're keeping it but we're not keeping it for the daylight hours so daylight hours looks delightful actually all day long summer like and great to get outdoors keep in mind though in south dakota storms will form and those storms will bring a few storms our way by sunday morning I think the Sunday morning shot will be mainly in our very far southern counties into Otter Tail County and Grant County, and that's where the morning storms could be strong to severe. We've had some scary nocturnal storms this year. We'll watch those for you. Then Sunday afternoon and Sunday night, another round as a cold front will promise to sweep away some of this air. So as we go from Saturday night into Sunday morning, here is where I think we have our biggest concern for a few strong south thunderstorms. Even though they don't look too intense here, we'll be watching with all the heat and humidity in place. It could be strong and severe. Then Saturday afternoon and evening, there's your cold front that'll bring another chance for strong storms. But for your Saturday, near 70 to start, sunshine, wind light, very summer-like with kind of a hot and sticky day in the mid 80s for most areas. Here's a look at your hometown, 80 to 85 for many of us. And all in all, it looks like sunny and delightful weather, light wind. Maybe you'll catch some water like this to soak your toes in. Rachel sending this in from the Otter Tail area at Buchanan Lake. Thanks, Rachel, for uploading your fabulous photo. A look at your forecast. There's your first alert weather day for late Saturday into Sunday morning, then another round of storms Sunday afternoon into the evening. Pretty good chance of some rain across the region as well. More widespread if you missed it today. There's a chance you'll get a little in the bucket as we go into our Sunday. Now, next week, we start out with most areas in the 70s. Fargo hits 80 for the start of the work week. After that, we start climbing back into some more summer-like weather and a few storms as we approach mid to late week. All in all, though, things are looking pretty fair for us, Callie, as we uh, 
close out an active weekend, there's going to be plenty of time to get outdoors. Just know if storms form in your area, they could quickly become severe, and that's where we come in. We just can't get a break from these storms, can we, Hutch? It has been a busy summer, no question about it. All right, well, thank you so much.